You know, I'm learning a lot of stuff here, and moose are nothing new around here. We currently have a family that wanders around our studios here at Alaska's News Source, and we're still snapping pictures. Oh, know, yeah, yeah, the, I just the saw the them out front, actually. Yeah. But what is new is having a wandering moose follow your dog into <laughs> your house. Yep. It happened in Soldatna. Here's today's All Good News. This is Jesse, Barb's dog. Regular morning, I let the dog outside and I never shut the door all the way so that he can come back in himself. And, and Jesse did come back in, but he wasn't alone. I think I stared at it for three or four seconds before it really dawned on me, yes, he's in the house. <laughs> Jesse, he had brought a friend. Uh, the husband thought he was dreaming. A really, really big friend. He came walking into the living room. I stood up, took about two steps, and realized there was a huge moose in my house that had just followed Jesse in. Let me repeat that in case you missed it. A moose in my house. So I'm hollering, there's a moose in the house. A normal reaction. The moose wanted the green stuff. He was uh, starting to munch on all of the salad bar plants that I have in this back atrium room. Fresh veggies in an otherwise snowy Alaska town. That moose didn't have a care in the world. He was just enjoying his salad bar. So Barb called the police. They asked if she had a chair to put in the hallway to keep the moose at bay. Well, yeah, I have four kitchen chairs, but none of them are six feet tall that he couldn't get over. So I don't know what good that would do. So <laughs> we didn't put a chair down. <laughs> yeah, that's like a that's like a throwing a toothpick at a giant or something, right? right? Right. So one officer reaching across the kitchen sink. And so he just Stuck the taser about a foot away from the moose just for the noise. The munching moose, he wasn't tased or phased by the noise. And then the other officer hollered, and then he got a little bit startled. And Ah, good old yelling. The moose did have a little trouble turning around. But on his way out, he did manage to get about a two-foot vine of my plant to take to go. And as to <laughs> why the moose came in, Barb says, Jesse, he may have been a bit lonely. What would you tell me when I called you? Jesse just needed, wanted a friend? He wanted Bullwinkle? Yeah. He, he, wanted, he wanted to have a, a, a sleepover and dinner with his friend Bullwinkle. So after about 25 minutes, Bullwinkle made it out, but the salad bar was calling his name. Oh, Lord, he's coming back. He might kick out that He knows. Window. I know. The door's shut, but I hope you don't kick it open. It's about two feet from me right now. Ah, the joys of living in Alaska. Did you have a little talk with Jesse? Did you do? Yes, we did. We told him that he has to ask first before he invites company in. <laughs> and that... No, go away. You cannot come in my door. The All Good News. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Mar marvelous. Farm was funny. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, just coming in to you know have a hang out, and I like the salad bar idea. He did get a huge vine there. Yeah, he he just, well, he couldn't turn around. It was really small, so he had a little hard time turning around. But yeah. uh, as you imagine, the door will not be left open anymore. And Jesse, <laughs> he's just gonna have to wait for Barb to come let him in now. Yeah, Barbara says they have a moose family that does come around about twice a week in her neighborhood, and this young bull moose had been looking in her window. Those green plants kind of. <laughs> Salivating. I mean, this time of year, there's not a lot of green around. So he found the mother load and was going for it. <laughs> He's been, he, she, he hadn't seen him today. She, she told okay. me she had to. All right. Here's Nora O'Donnell with what they're covering tonight at 5.